Despite the searing heat, a sea of protesters flooded the streets. They blocked Hong Kong's roads and jammed train stations as demonstrators united in their opposition to a proposed extradition law. If we uh, pass the extradition law, then the law system in mainland will happen in Hong Kong as well. And that's why we come to here to oppose the extradition law. Hours after it began, protesters were still lining up to join the march to the city's legislative council, the effective parliament of Hong Kong. Under the new law, wanted suspects or fugitives in Hong Kong could be sent to mainland China for trial. Critics argue that law could be abused and Beijing could target political opponents who wouldn't receive a fair trial. Well, we want to protect our children, we want to protect our future, our next generation, so we have to say what what we need to be done. We lose our freedom, so that's why we have to come here to protest. This is our last chance to protest. The European Union, United States, Great Britain and Canada have all voiced their opposition, as have Hong Kong lawyers who held their own march last week. Sharing the concerns are human rights groups who fear the law could also allow political kidnappings. The Chinese government has a very poor track record of human rights. That includes uh, forced conviction, um, forced confession, torture and arbitrary arrest. Despite these mass protests, this bill is likely to be passed. The Hong Kong government has the majority in the city's parliament and the chief executive wants a vote before the end of the month. The government has defended the bill and says human rights would be protected and the Hong Kong courts can still review each case to ensure there's no political motive. But if the mass turnout at this rally is any indication, it's clear many in Hong Kong are not convinced. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.